Mamavi Osabwaje was there, didn't ask a question. Kujo Yangson didn't ask a question. I'm just disappointed. Yeah, Roland. I wasn't invited. Roland, You're talking about the, the president's encounter. Yeah. Was it a press briefing or it was a meet the press briefing or an interaction with the press? It was an I wasn't there, by the way. I didn't get an invitation, which is not surprising, but you were there. <laughs> uh, but what was the difference between you and I? None. <laughs> My, the difference was that I actually spent petrol to drive to um, <laughs> Jubilee House and uh, uh. sat, uh, sat <laughs> Maybe uh, you shook the there. president's hand, like he said, hello I could have watched it on TV. Yeah. He said, I did hello. Actually, I actually did uh, have a chat with him yeah, uh, for so a few minutes. And that, that it's always nice speaking to the president, yeah, by so the way. It's not He's a like very engaging. Experience. In fact, uh, he was standing with the vice president and the chief of staff at a table during um, what was supposed to be sort of uh, refreshments after the I event. Item 13. And, um, uh, after the, how many minutes? Uh, okay, God yeah, yeah. Go, ahead, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. And um, uh, they were standing alone at this table. Others were having refreshments away from them, and these, they were just standing there on their own, like nobody could approach them. So I thought, I'll go and say hello. Mm. And just as I got close Your to them, self. one of the... Um, After you didn't ask a question. Yeah, yeah. One of the security guys immediately, you know, came up and uh, blocked me. And the president said, no, 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 let him through. He's my yeah. friend. Like, oh, he said that? Yes, made Ooh. me feel very special. But, um, of course... Um, that compensates for not asking a question. It does not. <laughs> it really does not compensate for it. Oh, and, um, is, uh, and we have to really talk this about is bribery how, and corruption. how the event went. He's my friend. And how, um, yeah. how it could have been a lot better. In mm, fact, yeah. they, 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 it could have been a lot better. We're it all went wrong, analysis, if you ask me. Yeah, uh, we'll do that. We'll do that I later. I don't think... What's I the... Don't. This is not the first time the president has given like a, a speech within that interaction and I think we, I we think talked about all of them, that, that all of them the ten, last ten year as well. That. No, yeah. um, John Mahama in his last Meet the Press but didn't. didn't. Um, yeah, he simply he came up yeah, and said, yeah, ask me questions. Didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. And then the whole time was given to yeah. the media. And that was a long time. Yeah, um, but you see that wasn't the only problem with this. The president arrived 30 minutes late. Mm. You know, by the time the event began, it was 5.30, or actually a little past 5.30, because they had to do the national anthem and all of that, you know, before the actual event began. Um, and, and he then delivered he gave a 40-minute speech. Yeah. Um, so by the time it, it was the turn of, the, you know, the journalists to also start asking questions. And look, credit to the organizers, okay, to Kojo Ponkuma and his team. They had a plan. They had a plan that they had put together with GIJ. Okay. GJA. GJA, sorry, okay, I'll confuse the two. Um, the plan was that when you come along and you register, you write your name, you, you take one of about 10 different oh, categories yes. or uh, sectors from which your question will come. Because everybody gets only one question. Yeah. So take which sector your question will be in. Then they would collate, organize, and then for each sector pick maybe seven, eight people to come and ask their questions. So that by the end of it, they would have covered all regions, all media houses, and you know, as many people as possible will get a chance to ask a question. That was the plan. But of course, the president arrived 30 minutes late, spoke for 40 minutes. By the time uh, they called the first six people to ask questions under the first sector, which was the economy, by the time they finished and were calling the next six, the president said, well, I have to leave at seven. So <laughs> you can't be calling six people for each of these nine or ten categories. So then the organizers had to start scrambling. For each batch they called, they would have to call uh, maybe one or two from different sectors. And, and then it just they, whatever they had organized, they had to mm. throw out of the window and wow. improvise. And that didn't really work well at all. Which, which sector did you well, take we'll that you wanted to ask questions? Governance. Governance. Yeah. We'll spend a lot, a lot more time. We have a conversation on that after, yeah, yeah. after uh, sports this morning. So let's do still fallout of that encounter, mm. uh, covering some of the front pages in the newspapers. I'll begin with the Daily Graphic newspaper. Here we go with what's on the front page. My government won't be distracted from core mandates of transforming economy, says the president. Railway sector receiving major transformation. Ashawan for other Chinese deported. That's after uh, the Noli Prosecco was uh, filed yesterday, I think. Yeah. Uh, back page of the Daily Graphic newspaper. Railway sector receiving major transformation. The full story is on the back page of the Daily Graphic newspaper. Let's see what's in the center spread. 70% of bank fraud from staff, according to Carl Bank MD. Frank Edugenia, Newmont earmarks 300,000 USD for C 
ESR initiative, Chartered Institute of Taxation UK, Ones Awote, who is the president uh, of the... No, no, no. Okay, so let's see. So he's, he's obtained distinction in the advanced diploma in international taxation. That's what the owner was for. Tai, is it Tai Chiga? Tai Chiga. Acquires two mining firms for 100 U, uh, million US dollars. Mm. It's a group of investors from China and the Thailand. Mm. They've acquired the Bibiani mines and the Terracel <laughs> mines for an amount of 100 million US dollars. The move forms part of the group's plan to invest in or buy 10 mining firms in the country. Details Tai of that. You can see how they came up with the name, right? Tai Chega. Thailand, uh, sorry, uh, Taiwan, oh. China, and Ghana. Oh. Tai Chega. Oh. Tai Chega. It's, it's, tai a, Chega. Nice, uh, it's a very corporate sounding name, sort of Eastern Asian Is corporate it? sounding name. Tai Chega. Tai Chega. Yeah. <laughs> tai Chega. <laughs> the Tai Chega group has acquired. Tai Chega. Sounds Ching Ching guys. <laughs> yeah, very well, so. I don't know. Oh dear. And Chinese. Chinese. And Chinese. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> let, let, ah, forgot about that one. Let's, uh, let's do the daily guide. Oh, uh, have you finished, Mama? Yes, okay. please. Um, the daily guide has these. Uh, no probe on bogus Oslo allegations. Uh, Nana, OK's drone deal. That's the sort of composite uh, banner headline that they have in the daily guide. They also have Galamse Queen deported. And five, grab NDC forms for a Jaco's seat. It's interesting that they report on the five from NDC, but not the eight from NPP. Uh, is it eight from NPP? Or nine? Or something? Whatever. That many? Yeah, yeah. Quite a few. A, a few more a than uh, NDC. Yeah, but it's mm. a by-election. In yeah, England, what they call it is a, they call it a casual vacancy. Casual when vacancy. there's a, 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 a by-election to be held. Uh, so that's what they have, a casual vacancy. Yeah. Let's see how it pans out. Huh? All right, Ghanaian Times. And great picture on the front page of Afeo Moni and a few other journalists. Again, Kujo, you were missing this sitting picture. In the, oh, yes, I was missing in the entire proceeding. You represented the show yesterday. You are missing everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. yes. The show was not uh, featured. Okay, Ghanaian Times has these. Um, at the media encounter... President Slam's opposition says allegations against members of government lack merit. Also, drone service, uh, corporate bodies to pay for it. And that's uh, the president again. Road safety campaign launched in Accra and 48 persons drowned since January, according to the police. And those are the two stories on the back page of the Ghanaian Times. Troubling. Hmm? 48 persons since January. Anyway, there we go. That's uh, Daily Guide and Ghanaian Times. Okay, so let's do the Daily Dispatch newspaper. We have analysis of the media press um, encounter that took place, and but the main story. Race for Yawasu West Wagon seat, 35 for the seat, MPP 9, NDC 4. Okay. So yeah, you yeah, have uh, the normal pictures that have been circulating over the last... A bit of a discrepancy in the numbers there. Mm. Mm. Oh, uh, two different media houses, I guess. So. Although mathematics shouldn't differ from media house to media house. Well, then once the names differ, the numbers <laughs> will differ. <laughs> uh, so we also have Bishop Ajinasari on the fake news trend. Uh, politics are sold enmity between Ashanti's and Airways. Uh, uh, well, it's, uh, it's from Asante Hini, and I, I was able to watch that uh, clip on social media. Very concise speech there. But the personalities who are vying for the Ayahuasca mm. West Wagon seats include um, Mama Vyo Usua for the, <laughs> for both parties. Uh, so we have uh, for MPP the whole force are Miss Yabwaji, pardon me. If you represent uh, both parties, you are not independent. Oh, there's a Yabwaji. Co Codependent. Yeah. Okay. That, uh, that's the name I saw. I thought it was you. Mm. But I know you are Yab. Don't worry, I'll stand in Anglonga. Yeah, Anglonga. Yeah. yeah. Usua Bwaji. <laughs> We'll you know, when I go out, say Agbama uh -huh. So for that, no. the name on the actually, whatever, whatever actually will be Agbama we'll neutralize the, the effect of the Usua Bwaje with, with the Asante Hini speech. We'll add it. No, no, Anytime no. Anytime we're campaigning, it, it we'll do that. Work. 
That's it. So please, when you see that name, then you know that I'm ready. <laughs> and the rest of, <laughs> of the hopefuls, apart from Miss Yabwaji, uh, Mrs. Essinam. Okay. Yeah. So Mamavi could be accommodated here too. Mrs. Essinam. Asan Ofei and Nana Rekwampim. We have Jojo Obing, uh, Mr. Owusu Amankwa, and uh, we have a number of others as well. But, I uh, thought jo John Dumelu's so name. So for NDC, we thing. have Richard Bimpong, uh, Na Udaka Inamte, and Dr. Benedict Ofusu Mensa, and John Dumelu. <laughs> and so John Dumelu on all Twitter the is rumors me. about. Uh, John the has spouses and you know all this that yeah, just not real. Mm. Charlie, we make possible. things up in well, this country. Could be possible. Maybe they were interested, but you know, sometimes when you put the news out there, you you you, you tend to let them. So all out. these people have picked forms. Is that it? No, I know John Dumelo has picked form. I don't know about the others. Mm. Mm. So they all want to be Aya as a West Walker. Yeah, it's an opportunity. A member of Parliament. Yeah. Or as Roland says. Ayawaso. Oh, I never <gasps> said that. <laughs> That's exactly what you said this morning. Right now. Ayawaso West Wall. Ayawaso. Ayawaso West Can we rewind wow. and, you know, Charlie, let's play back. Well, this is how you know this, that the podcast has started this, landing from this England defeat, I and America. This defeat, I will accept. Have newspaper. some buggers come in, to your house. No, no, no. It's, uh, uh, today, newspaper, <laughs> Galam said, <laughs> ban not lifted a Kufuado. A minority petitions are made over Oslo building. Well, the president said, look, you're blowing hot and cold there, uh, opposition. Uh, allow teaching of Gadangbe in schools. That story is on page two. Okay. now Let's finish up with the business finder. Mm, mm, Front page, mm. economy on right footing. Majority of macroeconomic indicators on target, says the president. National space policy due by March 2019. And they've got a summary of... Uh, the market, consumer price inflation, interest rates, Ghana Stock Exchange, the currencies, and commodities. You can check it out in the Business Finder. And they are announcing that they are taking a break. 20th December, they would return January 10. Elvis, Dalco, and Co. are going on the Christmas break. All right, uh, so you guys want to dig in? Yeah. Mm, why not? Uh, Ashawa is out, actually. Yeah. Uh, we call her the mining queen or kinping, if you like. Do you think uh, her, her real name is Aisha? No, 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 no. no. She mm. had a name I used to pronounce here. Yeah, whether let's, let's rightly see or wrongly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In the so, paper. So her documentation would not have Aisha. I no, doubt. No, 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 no. I doubt. Yeah. And you know all Chinese look it's the same, uh, so they yeah, please don't and ever what? say that. Oh, and that what? is that is that is they all look so the same. Ethnically insensitive. I say I'm, I'm I'm a racist. Yeah, you I can't say that. I apologize to all Chinese. You know, okay. you all don't look the same. Okay, so stop there. Don't say anymore. Let me just read the story as I see it, page twenty. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, the notorious illegal mining Kalams, uh, Galamsey campaign and what, aka Ashawa. And four other Chinese uh, who were standing trial for engaging in Galamse have been deported. The deportation was done by the Ghana Immigration Service yesterday, a few hours after the AG had filed a nolly prosecutor to discontinue a criminal case at the Accra High Court against the five for engaging in illegal mining. So a source told the Daily Graphic that the government decided to deport the Chinese for which reason uh, the case was discontinued. There's a quote. There was a directive from the Ministry of the Interior to the Ghana Immigration Service to deport them, unquote. The source told the Daily Graphics. So, uh, escort from the courts, they give you details here, the arrest and the discharge. I guess the question is, will her exits end the, her activities, if you like? Because you remember that even as she was going through this process, uh, this court process, we heard that her operations were still very much active in one of the areas. Uh, Erastus reported for us, so we don't know what this means, uh, but something tells me that it would still continue. Hmm. <laughs> yes, you won't be surprised if she suddenly turns up again within the within the borders of Ghana. But how well, would it you identify her? her? It wouldn't be her. I'm oh sure it's her. Uh, no, oh, okay, there we go. We go back oh. again. Look at this Chinese. Look, the next Chinese is looking the same. I'm no, telling no, no, no. you. Roland, yeah. Roland. I think they, I agree. They, That's they not They do fair. not look the same at all. And you know what? 
How many Chinese do you know? They, they, they yeah, I know. Look, study, studies. Have, I, I know Zanka. St I know Kuishin. Studies have revealed that um, Caucasians find it difficult to differentiate between black faces. Okay? And they indicate that as being part of an inherent racial bias. Okay? So they, don't, they can't pick out individual. They have lumped all of them together psychologically. And so they can't distinguish between their features. Okay, and it's the same with how a lot of people see what Asians. The study? the study you are sourcing. Well, you can please. Google it. But you see, just one more thing before uh, you move on. Yes, please. By if the way, we have, if if uh, uh, she's been involved in criminal activities, shouldn't yeah, we punish her before we yeah. deport her? That that why do we? It's it's almost like somebody that, is pulling. Which a very like, interesting like, point you're the making. The deportation solves the issue. We've somebody got to punish people strings. when they commit offenses. If you are a Ghanaian and you live outside the country and you commit a yeah. criminal offense you are going to be punished it's by the loss of the country. So what happens to Ghanaians who fall? Foul. Yeah. What, 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 what would we do? We will deport you to Well, Isawa. you can't deport a Ghanaian Because it's, Ghana. it's not as if, yeah, my point is that it's not as if the deportation is like punishment. Of course, it's not. If so you it tells a crime, you, you've got to... It tells you that so somebody, has, uh, somebody has made a decision not to prosecute her. Yeah, so uh, and according to the story, that's mm. the interior minister. Saying that, oh yeah, because we want to deport her, stop all the other. How do you <coughs> fight something like this this way? Wow! Somebody yeah. has, has. She she she's a very powerful person. Apparently, yeah, yes. But I, you see, uh, before I Roland go. started disturbing with this, they all look alike. I had wanted to say that I find her strangely attractive. Ah. I know. I don't know if it's no, just we, me. Wait, okay, wait, wait, she wait, has wait. a hang very on, pretty like, face. We are, we are, we are, we are, yeah. We're not Yes. Oh, okay. Maybe not in these pictures I'm seeing this morning. These pictures are no, not, but she, are she's, not she's very she's flattering. Beautiful. But, uh, I mean, you, let's Google her. You find really? a couple of rather nice pictures of her. I think she has That's a what you've been face. doing? You've been following her on Googling Aisha Wang. Insta yes, Instagram. I'm a journalist. <laughs> you mean you haven't Googled Aisha Wang? <laughs> no, we haven't. Ah. Why would we? But okay. we're coming to talk about her this morning. Only you didn't really? Google her. Are we I talking did. about her activities or we're talking you. about... Yeah, but how do I find out about her activities and do you know the historic arrests and the dates of <laughs> no, those arrests incredible. and all of that? You are if I don't Google her, you are incredible. Okay. Anyway, maybe it's just me. I'm well, sure. No, I'm sure the, I'm alone. The conversation on this. is not all Asha Wang, is it? <laughs> no, okay. there's more. All right. There's more going on. Obviously, the president has his encounter mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, and um, he, he actually uh, once again dismissed the allegations uh, that are being made about some. Uh, yeah. impropriety in the arrangements for Ghana to have um, uh, a mission in Norway. Mm. Uh, we know what the opposition has alleged. Um, the president yesterday um, was asked a question about it. He first uh, asked the foreign minister to come and answer the first part of the question, which was whether or not Ghana has spent any money, uh, any resources had been uh, you know, used uh, towards acquiring this building that appeared to have a four times mm. the cost. And the foreign minister said no. But, the, but there was no specific question to the agreement, the purported agreement that was sent to the committee, the one that um, the question, has. The question didn't ask about that, um, didn't uh, cover that. See, that's the thing. We've got to progress. You see, and... When, we, when we've heard one side look, already, we have to... Look, multimedia... We went with a plan. Okay, those of us who were invited, we yeah. sat together. We decided on five priority questions. Oh, okay. We decided that if we go, whoever is called first will ask the first question. If the president's answer is comprehensive, then the next person will ask the next question. But okay. if it's not, if there is a follow-up, then the next person will ask, ask the, the follow-up. Follow so that by the time we leave, at least for one issue, we will have yeah. closure. We will have closure. Because here, so, here am I still asking questions mm, about the agreement. Indeed. Whether or not they've paid, yeah, they've answered that. Mm. Now we have to move on. Yeah. How about what Mr. Blackwell is showing, mm. that they brought it from the ministry to the committee? Yeah. Um, but, of course, it didn't pan out the way we expected. Yeah. And uh, nobody got to ask any questions. Yeah, but you still went to the Jubilee but, House. But How often do you do that? Could you have knew all your tricks? I, 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 can, I, I can live without, you know. Could you have knew all your tricks? Yeah, well, it wasn't, it wasn't, up to, it wasn't his... Uh, but I, I guess when mm. we have that discussion, we will talk about some of the things that people yeah. have posted. A lot of people not excited at all. Some mm. people saying, listen, if this is how this is going to go, next year, leave mm. me out.
But you know, interestingly, for me, the, the, the area of interest for me is the fact that after the minister answered, the president then went on uh, to talk about whether or not, because the second question was, will there be a probe? Uh, so the president handled that. And he said, in fact, he, he went quite hard on the opposition, said that um, some of these allegations are bogus. And they are designed to slow down government so that uh, basically he will be forced to probe into every single allegation, even with the flimsiest of evidence. Mm -hmm. And he made a point that this is a, 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 an agreement that has not been entered into. Nobody has entered into any agreement. Nobody has signed anything. Yet um, there are accusations of uh, malfeasance. And, and I noticed you know, agreement is not just you know, the signing aspect. F fair enough. However, <laughs> however, I noticed that the president said there have been accusations of malfeasance and mis uh, impropriety and mis misappropriation. And I, and I was thinking, no, no, nobody has said that. Nobody has said that. Rather, what they have said is that the government has agreed to buy a property for four times its value. No one has said someone has mishandled funds. Or paid. Or paid. In any case, the opposition is suggesting that, look, money was committed. The finance ministry committed some money because they said uh, a, a consulate has been opened. And they want to know where that money uh -huh. is. So they want to know, to. Um, if, if you haven't paid them, where is the money? And why were you going to pay this amount if we hadn't raised the alarm? Mm. Okay, so that's what the minority is saying. It's up to the media to verify which parts of these are accurate, which parts are not. But in the meantime, the president's, uh, uh, the president's only knowledge of this is from what his appointee has told him. And again, we see that the president takes the words of his appointees very seriously. Yeah, what, 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 you mean, know? that's, and, that's um, expected. He yes. appointed them. They're working yes. for him. Yes, but he doesn't question it. He doesn't uh, allow the possibility that what his appointee is telling him may not be accurate. So um, according to his appointee, no money has been paid. Uh, and so the president says there's nothing to investigate. He's not going to um, fall for these distractions, as he describes them, uh, that these accusations are seeking to achieve. So, um, so that's it. There's mm. not going to be any probe mm. into this matter. Okay. And that's that. Okay. Let's go online. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> mm. We're going to Let's myjoyonline.com. Let's see what we, our website is reporting. This day is a Thursday, yeah? Today is what, 20th? 20. Oh, gosh, yeah, yes. Today's 20. My word. Five days to Christmas. Oh, I saw your post on the first day of Christmas. That's about coming oh, oh, I just oh, saw oh. it. I thought it was initially when I saw it. That's a nice song. Like it's my, it's, it's a, yeah. it's, it's, it's it a was nice. sent to me this morning. Like yes. I just opened it. I was, <laughs> yeah, nice on the video. first day of Christmas. Is, is, is today like the first day of Christmas? No. All right, myjoyonline.com 2018 has been tough, but 2019 prospects exciting, according to the Ghana Chamber of Commerce. Uh, they agree. Uh, 2018. Uh, presidential media encounter, quote unquote, worst ever, according to Sulimana Braima. He heads the Media Foundation for West Africa State. Uh, uh, object tendering of Crick CRIG document in Opunin's trial. Criminal investigations underway in failure of seven banks, according to President Ekufuado. One of the revelations yesterday at the encounter. I prefer drone deliveries to flying guinea fowls, according to oh, uh, Ekufuado Jabs. Punchline, punchline. Ayo. <laughs> Improved the results will justify double track system. Again, the president. One constituency, one ambulance in 2019. Again, the president. Mm -hmm. Despite national health insurance scheme, Ghana can do better. It's a piece. You can read it on myjoonline.com. One constituency, one ambulance. Uh, what one something, one something did we say and how far have we come? Mm. Uh, the president actually made a, few, a number of promises ground. yesterday. I recall a Additional promise. promises. Yes, yes. A, a promise to build a national theater in Kumasi and a couple of other things. I'll, I'll remember them. Mm. Yeah. Uh, media encounter. Petsy drone guinea fowl comparison low point. 
uh, the Media Foundation for West Africa. I mean, I, you know, sometimes when you hear some of the commentary, I mean, it's... I wish that we will be speaking to the people, we'll be speaking to the citizens and not the opposition, you know? You know, the thing is, yesterday, you got to find that the president is transitioning to that zone where, when in opposition, he accused, he accused John Mahama of being... The for press example, men, the press men, were they NDC people? Like, yeah. Were they like opposition because, because, people sitting there Because, for example, John, Ma the press. John Mahama, when he went to Liberia, um, Namibia said, well, he knows that whatever he does, the opposition will not, it will be criticized by media, and then the opposition will not take it. And you also seem to be in the same, you know, and the, then you don't seem to acknowledge that there are, there are real difficulties that the media who have come there are conveying yeah. from the public. Because the media <laughs> just don't come so and it's, ask it's questions. Actually, okay, yeah. So you media yeah. guys, you don't have a mind no, of, of your, your own. own. Yeah. You no. are only carrying messages from the opposition. So we are addressing yeah. you as such. And what the opposition says uh, is what you are re-echoing. And I want to address that. I mean, is, so how this about... Is how, <laughs> this is how they've handled the Oslo <laughs> issue, for example. You know, any time you ask a question about it, it, they assume that it is the opposition asking them the question, and they mm -hmm. answer accordingly. You know, with a lot of, uh, you know, appetite. I thought that. I, I thought that. I, I thought yeah. that. You know, for once, eh, even though is the is the opposition, these are members of parliament. This is coming from parliament. It's not coming from the political party, as in the NDC. Mm. And if we could look at it that way, I guess it would. And even it would on do the us committee, a lot of good. Mm. the chairman of the committee. Who is an MPP person? I said that there's no value for money. Even so, wrote somewhat, to the ministry. Somewhat yeah. agreed that both of them agreed that there seemed to be something. But you see, now that the president has dismissed it, what can that chairman? I mean, what choice does he have? Is he now going to be, uh, you know, going I, against his president? I tell you what. We He's have, not going to say another word about this. We have one this. choice. Manchester United, they have a new caretaker <laughs> manager. <laughs> Benedict will tell us about that. <laughs> so In I guess sports. this yeah. is where we end it. Yeah, that's where we end it. All right, then. Our morning encounter.